Hello, this is Sonia from Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Today, I'm going to do my update video of how I did last year, all my spiritual goals. How did I fare? Um, what worked? What didn't work? What is my goals for this year? I personally love setting goals, and I personally get very frustrated with people who who sort of struck off people want to do New Year goals or set some spiritual goals or personal goals or whatever. I just think it's very cynical if people say, oh, I don't believe in New Year resolutions. Oh, I don't never set any goals for myself. That's fine if you don't want to do it. But I think for people who want to set goals, I think they need to be encouraged. And I know we cannot improve ourselves without the help of the Holy Spirit. So I'm totally aware of that, but that doesn't say we should never try because lots of people have the attitude of, Ugh, it's anyway all the work of the Holy Spirit or so whatever I do, it doesn't really matter. It's all work-based. If you try to set goals and efforts, um, I think that Paul said, strive to do better. Work out your salvation. So there is elements of, yes, we totally and the Holy Spirit is totally in control of our life, our spiritual growth and things like that. But we always are in a partnership with the Lord. I think we can um, avoid evil. We can do the practical um, act of things to, to grow our faith. And I always say to people, if you have goals, New Year goals, especially I'm not talking about spiritual goals, um, if you don't achieve it, it doesn't matter because you have achieved something. If you wanted to read for the Bible, but you only got half through, way through the Bible, it's fine because at least you got half through, way through the Bible. If you never set that goal, then you would have not even started. Maybe you would have not even read the Bible or you've been very reluctant reading the Bible. So I just want to encourage for those people who want to set goals, for those people who don't want to set goals because they think they're going to fail, Ask the Lord, first of all, to help you in everything you do, do. And secondly, of all, it doesn't matter if you fail, because what you've achieved, even if it's very little, it's more than you would have achieved if you didn't set goals. So yeah, that I want to start off with that. So I have this um, Walk Worthy printable in my shop. Um, and I've um, used it last year, and I'm going to use it this year, a little bit different this year. So I've set up a file. I've got a video all about it to tell you too, if I haven't even listened to that video to go back and see what goals I was setting for myself. Um, but I I'm going to go to look at the goals I set out here for myself and see how I've done. So basically, my word of the year last year was look up, and I got it from... A passage in Daniel and it was I think it was during the craziness of COVID and all the craziness of this world and it said it says Nebuchadnezzar looked up and he um and he got his sanity back and I just thought to myself I feel I'm going to go insane because of all this changes in this world what's going on and then Lord said to me look up and you will get your sanity back. Look up and you will get perspective. You can get hope. You will get peace. You will not find it from the world. You will not find it from the craziness of the world. You won't find any answers from them. Try to stop to try and um, stop trying to understand what's going on in the world. You will not. Look to me and you will get your sanity back. And then just after that, I also read Psalm 121 that says, I lift my eyes up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Although it's not look up, but it is looking up to the Lord. And then Micah 1 with 3, it says, look, the Lord is coming. And it's just, just look at him, be heavenly minded and have a heavenly perspective. And then obviously Revelation 4, 1 also says, when I look, I saw. So the same look and you will see. And look, stop weeping, and um, the lamb is worthy. So stop worrying about the world, stop weeping, look, the lamb is worthy. It's all you need to think about is the Lord. Love this word of the year. Um, and then um, I'm just quickly going to go to my sort of my review of the word of the um, year. Um, um, it says, how do you grow in your faith by choosing this word? I just said every time I felt overwhelmed, unsure, I felt worried or I didn't have peace. I just reminded myself to say, look up, Sonia. Don't find your peace or your reasoning from the world. Look to the Lord. So that's what happened. In what practical way did you focus on this word? I, when I read through the Bible, I often look, saw the word look. It was just jumping up and how many times it said look in the Bible, look up, look to. And it just was a reminder to me. I don't believe the word of the, um, word of the year is this mystical thing. Ooh. Um, I don't think you must make too much out of it. 
just concentrate on one aspect you want to concentrate on the Lord. I think it needs to be God and Jesus focus. Um, so if you choose look up, choose because you want to look up to the Lord. If you want to choose growth, choose because you want to grow closer to the Lord. It mustn't be about yourself, self-development or mystical things about it. Just choose it because you want to truly focus on that. And that is an aspect in your faith and you're growing towards the Lord you want to focus on. And then in what way did you struggle with this word? I didn't struggle with this word. The only thing I said is sometimes it was difficult to look to the Lord because we want, tend to want to go back to our flesh, just give into despair or selfish behavior or just worry or things like that. So in that sense, it was um, um struggle. And then would you choose this word again? Yes, it was a wonderful word. Um, as I said, if you just choose a word, any word towards focusing on God, I think you can't go wrong. So that is my two cents about choosing your word of the year. And um, my goals was to read for the Bible on a, consi a consistently day-by-day -day basis. Now, I definitely did that, but I didn't manage to finish reading through the Bible. I've got this NLT Read for the Bible book. The first year, I wrote everything in black, more my sort of what I sort of learned and figured out. And then the next year, this year, I read it, I wrote it in, in red. So I couldn't, I didn't finish it this year for two reasons. Uh, we went was away almost for a month to England and I didn't want you to take this Bible with. I did a different Bible study during our time in England. So I missed almost a month. And then also because things went back to normal after COVID and things like that, we, I started my precepts Bible study and I've run in my own Bible study also. So that takes time to do the precepts homework. It takes time to study for my next Bible study. So some mornings I did that instead of reading for the Bible, but I was consistently every day in the bible yes maybe a few days i've skipped um but yeah i am consistently always in the word of god if um the one or two or three times i've skipped during the year now doing my study bible study morning i usually listen to a um to a sermon or something like that but i was really trying to be consistent reading for the word of god because i cannot um expect my children to do it or other people you can just god can just use you as far as you are willing to be able to do things also so basically i came to sort of mid-october so but i thought to myself shall i just give up and start again reading for the bible maybe a two-year plan this time because as i said i find um, if i want to read for this bible and i want to study and connect a little bit it takes time so um maybe i should do it over two years but then i thought no um i i don't like leaving things hanging and the lots of good chapters is still coming like busy jeremiah and i like the minor prophets and i like revelations all the letters of paul so i'm just going to keep going and when i'm done i'm just going to start i'm thinking of it i'm praying about it or a chronological reading plan or i'm just going to do a two-year reading plan which i got um which you can download and then each day there, there's some questions and reflection questions on each day i will link it down below if you're interested to do that it's quite a lot of printing but i mean it's just black and white um so i might do that but i'm still praying through it but i'm just continuing with reading through the bible it doesn't matter god is outside time we have created yearly a year um so i'm just keep consistently reading through the word of god i love doing it it keeps me in the bible i just love soaking in the word of god then i said i want to memorize four verses per month and i did that very much and i'm really going to focus on this this year regarding my youtube channel and my instagram account if you haven't missed my previous um video about um yeah just creating a community where we can um, um memorize scripture then i'll recommend you to go and watch this video i'll link it also down below so i was very consistent in that we took a few weeks maybe every 10 weeks or 12 weeks a, a week grace but it doesn't matter i continue memorizing scripture and went through it i wanted to do some more verse mapping i did but i didn't do enough because i said some other things kept me busy like i said studying for precepts but this is also just a good way of studying the word of god improve my prayer life keep praying um, yeah, I definitely need to work harder on that. I often pray, as I read the scripture, I pray through it. But I definitely want to be more consistent praying specifically for people. If they send me a prayer request or they put it on the prayer group and our church, specifically to dot it down and pray for people and follow up. 
and fasting more regularly. I did fast more, more, but definitely not regularly. I started quite well. I think the first five months of the year, at least once a, a month fasting, but I definitely want to continue it this year because I think it's so powerful. Cutting down our flesh, fasting to me is just a way of cutting away your flesh. Cons forget about your flesh and that fleshy desires and concentrate and zoning on your spiritual needs and your spiritual desires. So that's it. Then what I've done is, um, this is a printable from Illustrated Faith. I started very well with this. I think yeah, from September onwards, I didn't print it out anymore. Um, but it is a good exercise to th talk about right now. So my printable, it always starts with this month. Overview. This I fill in at the end of the month. I wrote down all my scripture memories, which I've done, three things I'm mainly grateful for, a verse of the month, which I picked up from the verse of the week, and one truth God spoke to me during the, the month. My prayer list, um, I've started well with, but I didn't, I just continued by myself. But I, as I said, I'll show you now what I'm going to do this year regarding prayer. Then I started, um, I was in a design team for um from beloved society didn't really continue with that so this is my monthly overview of my verses i've memorized so i would fill that in weekly as i memorize it and this is my practice sheet i'm not going to do this here but it's very good but because um, of my new setup of my memory verse keeping um, i'll show you later what i'm going to do not because i didn't like that but because for practical reasons and for ministry reasons it's going to be just easy having it at one place so this is all my memory verses. I practice each month. And then each week, this is after the month, I will look for, at these things and I will go back to my um, my highlight of the month. So yeah, so this is, so how God speak me through the week, my memory verse for the week, three things I'm grateful for the, for the week and my verse of the week. So this is just what I'm doing on a consistent basis for the months. And then here's my notes. Everything, if I look, when I study the Word of God and I read through the Bible, I just um, write down what I learned. And then that's also a way for me to look back and see how God is speaking to me through this week. So every time I just made a cover page for February and I continued like that, I did very well. I mean, I, I the only month I really didn't do was September when we went to England. I, I just had too much preparation to do. So as you can see, I've constantly done it i really like having a record of it all um so i'm just giving you a quick flip through because they're mostly all the same this is the cover of may this is the cover of june i use the beloved girls mostly love using them this is august sometimes i forgot to do it but most weeks i was very consistent doing everything for that was October. I've skipped September. Yes, as I said, I didn't do the September. So this is October. November. I didn't do a use a beloved goal there. I don't know why. Maybe I forgot. And here also December. I didn't either. So this is December. And I've just filled in everything. Finish off the year. So this is what I've done this year. And this was my memory box keeping. I did with the community on Instagram and at our church. So I'll show you what I'm doing this year. First of all, I am doing the same. Walk worthy. I've just got a new file, set it up, start with 2023. And my word of the year is glory. And I was inspired by, a, we did precepts and John, and I listened to a fantastic sermon. I actually got a Bible journey entry also about it. Glory and what it means to glorify God. And the main passage is John 17, how Jesus glorified God by being obedient. And then the pastor said, it says, to the degree I obey him, I glorify him. I show God's glory to others. So it's, if you want to show God's glory, be obedient. So I could have actually chose obedience also, because to, to display his glory is if you are obedient to him. And that is how Jesus displayed God's glory by being obedient to the cross. Then I've got a few other references also, especially in Revelations, that he's worthy to be glorified. And Moses asked Jesus, oh God, show me your glory. Um, yeah, and then um, there's a few other verses that stood out for me. 
and then I just put my faith goals and I said completing through the Bible, reading through the Bible this year, starting a new reading plan, um, filling my prayer journal. So this is my prayer journal, which I've got a printable also for that. I'll leave it down below, but I'm going to show you in a minute what that is. Fasting more diligently, really setting uh, one day a month to fast and memorize verses each week with this online community and to be faithful in my ministry. So whatever ministries I have and church here online, to be faithful with it. So I have to set up for January. And yeah, I just got my month. Now what I've done is I didn't do the practices and memory sheets because as I said, for practical reasons, I'm going to do it separately because for it's just if yeah for for the new direction i want to go in it's just better to have it separately but if you have both of these plans i would suggest just put it all together and do it in one file because it's best to have everything in one file so i've set up already for january and then a good thing i've done is at the back i've just i've printed almost everything for the month for the year rather all the printables and then I've got the little bucket next to my Bible study with a with a whole punch reinforces so I can just punch everything in it put it in immediately so each month when a new month start I can so much I can actually do it there on my desk I don't have to come to my craft room and set up everything the only thing I need to do with my craft room is setting up the main page but um that's fine that's fun as long as I continue in my Bible study. So, yeah, because what will keep you successful is having it set up beforehand, having it ready and not having to stop. Oh, I haven't set up for this week again. Sunday evening was a bit crazy. I didn't have time. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. And then before you know, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you haven't set it up for this week and then or the month and then you just get despondent. So but plan it beforehand and um, have everything ready at the back. If you even so... Um, good you can actually set it up for the whole month but I I get sort of inspired by different seasons and feel like what I have in my craft room so I like to set up each month paid separately just quickly it takes me literally five minutes to do that so that's what I'm also going to do I love this cover then I've got my prayer journal which I've got a video also about that so I'm not going to show you too much about it I will leave it also down below if you're interested in that so this is a printable which I really want to start um praying more specifically when i see something in the bible a bible verse like yes jeremiah 10 verse 6 i've written it down to praise god repentance what i'm going to do is i'm just going to slowly fill it in i'm not going to start all it all everywhere it needs to be verses and because then i'm going to feel overwhelmed also i'm just going to do as i do my bible study and i find the passage about repentance i'm going to write it down here generally i'm going to focus on repentance and then I don't have to pray for everybody, for my family members, I probably pray every day. Um, yeah, I started already. And then, like for instance, one day I pray for my husband's spiritual growth. Then I move it down. So the next day when I am there, I know already, oh, I need to pray for his love and knowledge of the word. And then I've got these stormy or mono, pray for your husband notes also, some verses. Um, I can put in here the same for my daughter. I've got specifics I want to pray for, so I'll just move it today. I prayed for her. She's going to do an internship at our church. I'm just praying that it will be productive spiritual growth. That it will not just a year of service, but it will be a grow a, a year of, of spiritual growth also. So I move it tomorrow when I'm there. I talk, I'm going to pray for a few just studies where, what universities he needs to go to. So I'll do that. And then my son, same for him. We've got a few verses. And as I go through the weeks, I'll just add verses Um for each family member specific car requests be looking for a car for my daughter so i'm praying for a good car good price reliable car so i've started doing that and then when we get the result i'll put the date in there obviously praying for our country friends as i said i'm not going to go into too much detail our church and our pastors ministries like mission on borders i've got the newsletter yeah i'm just actually going to print the newsletter off because it is now january so i can actually do that open doors and so forth and so forth and then i've got these journey cards at the back anything that i think it can be useful to pray for i can use so i'm going to slowly but surely fold this thing the idea is not that it be need to be all full now the first of january this i can use for many more years and i can just fill it up and add it up and it can be my prayer journal so this is what i'm going to do concentrate a little bit more on that and then obviously i created 
my online community to memorize scripture um, if you don't know anything about this is this is a free starter kit um, memory verse bundle you can pick up this is not something I've designed or I've thought about about that is a Charlotte Mason method but I've adjusted it a little bit for our community and we're going to memorize each week another verse we will have definitely great weeks also so if you want to know the system how it works definitely go and watch my other video also I'll link all the videos regarding this so you can go and watch it then because as I said for I wanted to keep everything together for my um, verse memory um, I decided to I do it in this book and just have it at one place where I can write my memory verses out and then we're going to meditate on the word of God so I've got it at one place and then we'll make a pretty page in here or in your bible or wherever you want so this is what I'm going to do for 2023, God willing. Yeah, I pray that each one of you will have a wonderful year, that it will be a year that you grow closer to the Lord, that you get to know Him deeper. And yeah, don't be shy to want to do something, to work out your salvation. Strive to, to dig deep in the Word of God, to whatever you choose to do, read for the Bible, memorize scripture, improve your prayer life. Um, whatever you decide to do, I pray that God will give you the grace and the mercy and the strength to continue with that. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to check out all the videos and links down below if you're interested. And have a great day. Bye-bye.